this morning. Shit, God Almighty. Hey, uh, you know, the saying is true. I ain't gonna try to act like it ain't. But it does take a grown man to cry. It takes a grown man to admit he's wrong. It takes a grown man to cry about heartbreaks or whatever. It, it does. But what outlaw or no dirty white boy outlaw goes live on social media and just fucking totally bitches out crying. Cry so hard he tried to light a vape pen. That's... Dude, you need to save them kind of tears for your damn mama's lap. I mean, Jesus Christ. Ain't a grown man listening now that has not ever cried. I ain't gonna try and act like I ain't never cried. But dude... I mean, I've cried over parents passing. Yes, even when I was in junior high, I cried over girls breaking up with me. Ain't gonna lie, I've cried over a girl in junior high once or twice in high school. But I wasn't in the middle of the fucking schoolyard fucking squalling crying fuck no when did I got home shut the door and cried you don't go on social media crying like a little bitch that you are cause all that did it shows that you are no outlaw you're no Bonnie you're no Clyde you know, old dirty white boy. It shows what we've been trying to fucking say for the past year and a half plus. That you, Durky, Scooter, Scoot Scoot, whatever your little name is, are a bitch. You are a bit. You proved it last night. Go online crying over crying over a skank of all people too. That's what that's what flipped me the fuck out. But I'm gonna tell you what, buddy. You're that tore up over her and then you want to blame the people in the Discord. You want to blame the content creators that make videos about you all the damn time. How is it our fucking fault that you're crying like a little girl? You're crying like a three-year-old little girl that was denied getting a cookie and some milk. You brought all that shit on your fucking self, buddy. I mean, just go back. You ain't got to go to our videos because you done seen them all. Go back to your videos and watch. Fucking smacking her around. Talking shit about her online. Putting her down online. During your live feeds. Putting her down. Having her take the fucking fall for you scamming people. Saying it's her fault. Talking shit about her family. Abusing her. Physically and verbally. In front of her kids. She had took that shit longer than any normal woman would have. And now you're upset because she drew the line and she's done? You didn't love her. 
You still don't. That was your money ticket. That's your gravy train. And right quick like, you lying little fucker. That money you supposed to say, oh, that's weekly. That's weekly. That is not weekly. That's monthly. I got the same information. I get the same shit on mine. Now, it is not monetized. I don't get no money. I ain't got up to that level yet. But I get the same information to where it shows me if I was monetized and was making that money and did have that amount of subscribers and shit like this, I'd be making this amount, that amount, this amount. A month. That's not weekly. What woman wants to be with a man that just gets just a little under $300 a month? Come on, dude. And I'm going to tell you what right now. No, I'm not monetized. I'm not making money off of it. I'm not looking to get monetized. I'm not looking to make money. But I can guarantee you, Scooter Beggins in the same situation. Now, whether he wants to be monetized or not, I don't know. None of my business. I don't ask. It don't concern me. But I can guarantee you, he is not the man to be begging anybody for anything. You just said that because you finally realized what his last name really is. After I had to fucking spell it out for you. So you can quit with that shit about him begging you. Ain't nobody begging you for nothing. And if you're crying over your damn girl, what happened to all these models you can bring down? Oh, I can bring down models. When you was talking shit about it that, what was it, months ago. I can get models like that. Well, snap your fingers, buddy. Snap them nasty, dirty, unclean, unhealthy fucking hands. Snap them fingers. Bring up a model. You can't. Oh, you show a picture, you got two models, which I ain't gonna lie, they're some nice looking women. Them women get paid to be loved up on some nasty, greasy, unbathed sons of bitches like you. They're getting paid to do that shit. You can't snap your fingers and bring in a model. Ain't no fucking way in hell. So you can stop that shit. Just like you need to stop that damn crying online. I mean, hell, I, I watched the damn video of you grinding shit. I'm thinking, why am I watching this shit? It's the same fucking thing. And then I watched the one about you bragging about your damn Shaquille O'Neal card, Shaq cards. <coughs> Buddy, that same fucking card, name, number, and everything. Under $2.00. You ain't getting no money for that damn card. None of them cards that you've shown can bring in more than 20 bucks. Combined, maybe. But single, nope. None of them. At lighter, right at 20 bucks, if not a little less. So you can stop that shit. So I'm going to tell you what, you don't impress nobody by bragging about how much you spend on something. I couldn't impress nobody by telling how much I spend on something. Because nobody's impressed with that shit. Be 
people are more impressed with you being straight with them. Shoot from the hip. Be honest. Hell, I got all kinds of collectible shit at the house. I got some shit I might have spent some money on that I shouldn't have. But I got a lot of other shit. $8, $5, dollars 10 dollars $3. What the fuck? I'm sit here and try and lie. Knowing people can look that same thing up and give an average price of what it goes for. I'm not going to sit there and lie. Oh, I spent $60 on this. Knowing you can buy it offline somewhere, anywhere for them eight bucks. Like that piece of shit, Cleveland Brown shit lighter you got. We probably made so many of them damn things that they'll pay somebody to take it. And ain't nobody unscrewing your fucking light bulb because your light bulb burned out a long goddamn time ago. Ain't nobody unscrewing your light bulb so the earth can shine. I ain't no way I'm putting any of my light bulbs into any of your sockets at your house. Shit, me, hell no. Shit probably won't work. And I ain't never, never known any man go crying to a girl that's had her fill of his ass and completely fucking done with her. I ain't never known a man to go out there crying like a little bitch and win her back. It don't happen like that, buddy. See, if you get out of that fucking trailer, get out from underneath your mama's fucking skirt, let go, cut that umbilical cord a little bit, and get out in the fucking real world, you'll realize everything you've been doing is nothing nowhere near what a grown-ass man does. I mean, you say, what man makes fun of another man online? I do. But I tell you what. <clears throat> I do this shit because all my other man responsibilities are done and taken care of. My kids are taken care of. My grandkids are taken care of. My wife's definitely taken care of before I do this shit. My home responsibilities are all taken care of. And then I go in here and I look for your little dirty ass and then I fuck with you. What responsibilities do you have? You're not raising your son. Somebody else is. You can't keep a girl because you run them off by being a, trying to be a badass and end up being a dumbass. Living in your mama's trailer. Oh, it might be in your name, it might not. I don't know and I don't really give a flying fuck. But your mama is your mama. So you're living in your mama's trailer. Your mama's taking care of the trailer, your mama's keeping the lights on in that trailer, keeping the water going in that trailer. That's your mama's shit. That ain't your shit, because you ain't doing shit to keep it up. So, I don't give a fuck whose name it is. It's who the fuck keeps up with it and takes care of it and keeps it going. That's who it belongs to. It's like a young Who keeps up the young who makes sure that young is up going to school? Who makes sure that young has got a bath? Who makes sure that young has got food in his belly? Who makes sure that young has got clothes on their back? Shoes on their feet? That's who that young belongs to. Not you just because you want to make a bunch of empty promises. Oh, I'm going to buy you a PS5. I'm going to take you hunting. I'm going to do this and don't do none of it. But now, let me tell you what. My ex-wife let my kids, when we, me and her separated, we had shared custody. When the kids were at her house, she let them do whatever they wanted to do. 
trying to be their friend instead of their mama. They come to my house, they had rules. They had responsibilities. They had chores. They had shit they had to get done before they go out and have fun. If the shit wasn't done, they didn't go nowhere. They wanted a PlayStation or an Xbox. They had to do something to earn it. They wanted to go out with their friends, stay the night at a friend's house. They had to make sure that fucking house was clean before they went. The homework, done. Completed. Not, oh, just waiting just a little bit. I'll wait and do it sun, Sunday evening. No. Doing it now. They know that shit. Three, three years after we had separated. Three years of them going to their mama's house and just getting to do whatever they want to do. Go to school whenever they took a notion, not go to school. Didn't feel like going to school, she didn't make them. Three years of that shit. And then be to my house with responsibilities, boundaries, rules. They all ended up coming living with me. So you can play that little, I'm my son's best friend, I'm the world's greatest daddy. Because I, I tell him I'm going to buy him a PlayStation 5. I tell him I'm going to take him hunting. I've got a crossbow on his four-wheeler. Ooh. That don't mean shit. They're going to realize one day that that's just nothing but a bunch of shit. They want to be where the responsibility is. They want to know where the boundaries are. You dumb motherfucker. You ain't worth a shit as a damn daddy. You ain't worth a fuck as a boyfriend, and you're nowhere near worth a shit as a fucking man. So you can quit that bullshit. You act like a badass outlaw in one video. I'm taking you to court. Section 230. Section 230. Hey, you sound like goddamn Dead Barney Five. Gomer Powell. Citizens arrest. Citizens arrest. The fuck you sound like that? Section 230. Section 230. Read the damn thing, you stupid fuck. You can't do shit to nobody. Because we're not telling you no lies. We're pointing out the facts of your lies. So stick that in your fucking prison pocket asshole and hold it. But you get on there and act like a badass outlaw on the fucking internet in one video. Next video, you're in there crying over Shayna, of all fucking people. Good Lord. Crying over Shayna. Skanker. Carp. Whatever you want to fucking call her. We told you this shit months and months ago. You are no outlaw. Because you're all the time threatening to sue somebody. Call the law. Call the law. I'm an outlaw. Call the law. I'm an outlaw. Call the law. I'm an outlaw. Oh, Shana left me. Oh, my God. Oh, Shana, please go back to me. I love you, girl. I wash my fingernails for you, sweetie. Bye. But I'm an outlaw. I'm an old, dirty white boy. I've earned the right to get the old dirty white boy tattoo. That's what I say about that tattoo. Fuck it. Prove you're an old dirty white boy. Prove you're a fucking outlaw. Stand up and be a goddamn man. You can tell, and I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I can tell you was not raised around a grown ass man because you don't know how a grown ass man is supposed to act like. Fucking outlaw. I'm her bunny and Clyde. She's my ride or die, Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and fucking Clyde. God damn. Say that one more goddamn time. I don't think anybody heard you. Because nobody fucking believes you. You're not no Clyde. You two are more like Laurel and fucking Hardy. You're a goddamn joke. People laughing at your ass. Online crying on a live feed. 
like a little bitch. Oh my God. Is that how your mama taught you to settle your problems or solve your problems to cry to get what you want? Ah, Dana, come back. I want a PlayStation 5 and your child support money is the only way I can get it. Ah. Please, Dana. I love you, girl. Call the police, mama. They're picking on me online. Billy, call the law. Because I'm an outlaw. Outlaws don't need to be getting picked on. Man. Whiny little bitch. Tell you what. I hope the hell your court date comes and they put you in a little jail time because then you're going to cry. Oh, yeah. When you go to jail, you're going to cry. You're going to cry your ass off. And then, oh, oh, when the lights go out, you're going to be crying. You're going you're gonna to be crying out. They don't give a fuck. Damn cops and OCs and all that shit. They ain't going to be going back there when you're out there about damn 11, 12, 30 at night. Gripping a fucking pillow, biting into it, screaming out in pain. They ain't going back there. Ain't none of that damn business. They ain't got shit to do with you until it's time to get you out of there and get you something to eat and make sure you take a shower. Other than that, they ain't got shit to do with you. Oh, you can act like a tough guy in there. You can act like it, but I'll tell you what. You think we can see the fact that you're not a tough guy and this is just through a video? Them motherfuckers going to see right through your shit when you walk in there. Your little bony ass, fucking knobby ass knees gonna be knocking together. Don't think somebody's playing the buck playing a xylophone. Knees gonna be knocking so goddamn hard. Yeah, you gonna really be crying in. Hell yeah. You gonna really be crying in, buddy. You think Skanker's gonna come see you and give you a little bit of window love? She, she might come and see you. she bring that big black boyfriend of hers up there to come see you. Be sitting there on the window love and she's going to have the phone to her ear and he's going to be standing right there behind her. What are you going to be doing? You're going to be in the same situation. You're going to be sitting there, phone to you, you're going to have a big black boy standing there behind you. Waiting on you to hang up that phone because he needs some loving. Yeah, buddy. So y'all both gonna be getting into some of that Black Lives Matter. <laughs> yep. And Billy and Bo and Chig and all them people, they can't help you. They ain't gonna be able to help you in there. Oh, you can call mommy and tell her, Mama, do something, Mama. Tyrone, turn me up, Mama. What's Skanker doing? <laughs> Check her Facebook, Mama. <laughs> I guess it does fit the fact that you still wear underoos and pampers because you're fucking crying online. Man, if you want me to, I'll send you a pacifier. I'm pretty sure I got one somewhere around the house when my grandson had one. I'll send it to you. I'll send it in a little care package while you're in jail. Yeah. Hey, when you go to jail, just remember, if they hand you a packet of Kool-Aid, that is not because they're thirsty. Mm-mm. That's some of that sweet sugar love they're going to give you, buddy. <laughs> Dry your eyes. Dry them up real nice and good. And <laughs> Face... Face the day the best you can. And just think, <laughs> when you're sitting in your childhood room, crying with your little baby childhood border, skank is getting plowed. <laughs> oh boy, how <laughs>